So next up, we have Old Forester 1910 and 1920. I don't have any specific data that leads me to believe that these will disappear off shelves, except the only thing that they have that's above that is Old Forester birthday bourbon, right. and that's disappeared for years and years. Right, yeah. And when you go onto a forum and you say, what's a quality bourbon that I can get that's under 60 bucks? Every single time, one of the number one answers are these two bottles. Right. Old Forester 1910 and 1920. I figure there's that many people talking about it and that many new people getting interested going out and buying it, a good chance it's going to disappear. Absolutely. It's going to be one of those demand issues because you're absolutely right. One of the first bourbons that I was ever recommended when I started my journey was an Old Forester 1920. And I've kept that thing on the shelf ever since then because it is so good. Same and I always recommend it to people too. Yeah, so same here. It makes sense that uh, when you've got such a gap between the 1920 all the way up to the birthday bourbon stuff, people are going to most likely want to pick one of those up rather than search and hunt down a birthday bourbon. Sure.